Hi, welcome back to Reese's Reels, and today I'm going to show you how to solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. So let's get started. Okay, so you're going to have need to have it mixed up. I'm going to mix it up in three, two, one. There, it's mixed up. Okay, so first what we're gonna need to do the first layer. So the first step is to solve the white cross. So this is the beginner's method. And so first what you're going to do is first you're going to find the white center and piece and put it on the top. Then you're gonna find a piece around it on the bottom um, that is the right color. So say we're looking for green. There's a white and green right here. So you're gonna turn this under here and over right next to it. Then you're gonna turn up and now that green piece is right here right next to the center of its color and then you turn it up and that's part of the white cross then say we're looking for red we take you see this red piece right here we're going to turn it over right next to it up but wait there's it's the white is right here so then you, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna turn it down instead put it right under it and then it's right there in the right spot and then you turn it up and there's a the part of the cross another another thing that might happen is if there's no pieces on the bottom then you're gonna want to look next to the centers and oh I found this piece is already in the right spot so let's put that right up there then you I see this piece right here it's not in the right spot so you need to turn it down right here go down over fix this put that up and then you see this right here, it's in the right spot. So you just turn it up just like that. And there you have the white cross. Next, and okay, the next step is you're going to want the right corners right here, the corner pieces, but it's gonna have to match up with the, these two pieces, these two pieces, these two pieces, and these two pieces. So right here, you're going to want to flip it upside down. See, if you look all around the top, you see one right here. It has white, a white edge piece, white corner piece, I mean. You're going to want it to turn it right in between their two colors that it needs to go in. Then you're going to go up, over, down, over. Up, over, down, over up over down over until it's in the right spot right here then you're gonna let's do another example there's a piece right here it has a white it's a white corner piece so it's um, blue and orange so you're gonna put it in between blue and orange center pieces then you're gonna go up over down over 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 and now it's in the right spot then you're going to do that with the rest of the pieces there's green and red with white corner piece then you're going to put it in between green and red um edge edge pieces right here then you're going to go 
up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over. And that's in the right spot. And the last one in the right spot. Up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over. Right there. Now we have the first layer done, right here. We have this layer finished. Then the next step is to get the second layer, right here. You're going to find these, you're gonna get these um, middle edge pieces. So first what you're gonna do is, as you see right here, this is a green and red. So you're gonna find but in between green and red, whatever one is right here, you're gonna put it right there. Then you're gonna go away from where it needs to go. Then you're gonna turn that side up, over, down. Then you're gonna turn it to where the white piece is facing. Then you're gonna go over, up, over, down. And now it is in the right spot. And that is part of the second layer. Let's do another example. So you see right here, there's there's a edge piece right here. There's red and blue. So you're gonna put that in between red and blue. Whatever one is facing you is going to be where the color goes. Right here is blue. You're gonna turn it away from where it needs to go, right here. Then you're gonna go up, over, down. Then you're gonna go to where the white, with where the white is facing. Then you're gonna go over, up, over, down. Right there. Now that piece is in the correct spot, just like this one. Then you're gonna do this one, put it in the middle, check where it needs to go, right here. Then go away from where it needs to go, right here. Up, over, down, where the white part is facing. Over, up, over, down. It's in the correct place. And now the last one, put it right here away from where it needs to go, over here, up, over, down. And then you go from where this white part is facing, go over, up, over, down. Just like that. And now you have the second layer complete. Then, the next step is the yellow cross. There's four cases. One, there is a, a it's it's um, where there's just a yellow dot in the middle, like this. The next case is where there's a yellow here in the middle. And then there's yellow here and here, right next to it. Or there's yellow here and here, or here and here, or here and here. There's always gonna be this in the middle. And then another case is, that case was called the L case. The next case is the bar case. Is so there would be one in the center and then two right next to it, right here and here. That would be the next, another case. Or it can be here or here, but I'm pretty sure that's not possible. And those are all the cases. So, okay, I had a little bit of a mess up there. Um, so, yeah, now I couldn't, um, I tried a couple times and I couldn't get it to where there's just one, so now I have the L case. You just do the same algorithm as I'm gonna about to show you. So, I'm gonna go do, 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 do. Right there. Now you'll have the next case. Then you're gonna go doot, 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 doot. 
That might have been a little fast, I'm sorry, but uh, it's hard for me to do it um, without being super fast. So, yeah. Now, once you have the yellow cross, we're going to align the right colors um, right here, just like kind of like what we did with the white cross where we aligned it with the right center piece. Um, one case is you're going to have it where these pieces are like this, just like this, There's where there will be two ones that are aligned with the right one. And then another case is where there's going to be two across from each other that are aligned with the right center piece. So you're going to do this the same algorithm if it's if it's across. I'm just going to do this one, but there's only one difference when you if you have it across then it, you're not going to do the first move of this algorithm and it, but if you but then once you do the if it's a cross once you do that it's going to end up like this so either way you're going to have to do this one so you're going to go over up over down over up over over down and now they should be aligned, but you're gonna have to do that algorithm one more time with the including the first move if you did not if if it if um it was the case where they were across from each other. Okay, now the next step and which is this which is one of the last steps is getting these corners aligned with the right colors so say we wanted to get this one you're gonna you wanted you would want um one with yellow green and orange so you would have wanted this one but it's not there so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find one that is aligned with the right colors if you can't find one that's okay just do this exact algorithm with any just random piece. So you're gonna have that piece right here. I couldn't find one, so you're gonna go away, up, away, up, away, down, away, down. Now, one should be aligned with the right one. If not, do it again until you can find one. I found one right here. So now I'm gonna take this one, have it right here, and then it doesn't have to be, this yellow doesn't have to be facing you. It doesn't really matter. Then you're gonna go over, do the same algorithm, over, up, over, up, over, down, over, down. And now they should all be aligned. If not, if not, do it again. Then, the very, very last step is to get the corners aligned in the right way. This is probably the scariest step because um, it looks like you're messing up the entire, all of your progress in the entire cube, but in the end, it's going to be solved. So what you're going to do is you're gonna have one of the, th of the pieces that you need to rotate right on this side. Then you're gonna do this algorithm. Down, 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 doot, 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 doot. It's very important to do the last move, this move. If you don't, it's it's going to mess up your entire cube, so please do that step. And you're gonna do that until the corner is aligned with yellow facing up. Then you're going to, you don't rotate the cube just like that. You have to turn the top just like that until you get to the next one. Do not rotate, it's going to mess up the cube. 
Then do the same algorithm. Do, 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 until it's aligned. And that will be the last step and your cube should be solved. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe down below. And if you like this video, please share with your friends and click the bell so you get notified when I post a new video. Bye!